and welcome to Little Bitch Honey Bees. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. This is, today is, uh, is week 14. It's May 2nd. It's about 75 degrees. It's going to storm after a while. Real windy. Not a good day to get in the bees, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Um, hopefully today we get in here. We should see some uh, bees, new bees hatching out. Show you what they look like hopefully and if she started laying within the first two days after she got out they should be some hatching if we can catch them uh, so just a little tip today you get in there before you get in there take this you take your smoker smoke your smoke your hands and arms it helps keep the bees yeah. I'm going to get this camera, re camera repositioned up here so we can look down this box and we'll see what we got. <clears throat> okay, here we go. When you uh, pick the lid up, always crack the side that's away from you, over here. I'm on, I'm on this side. Crack, open this side up. That way the first bees that fly out, them's the ones that you will let you have. It. Give them just a whiff of smoke. Not much. Just let them know you're coming. In the particular way we set up, remember we put this styrofoam in here. That gives us a lot of room. We can just slide this styrofoam. <laughs> over here out of the way lets us get in now you notice the bees are starting to settle down you didn't see a bunch of bees fly up off of here that's a, that's a normal way it happens <clears throat> well the new strip of starter strip we put in you see they drawed about a third of it got this is all honey up here a little bit of pollen in the lower sections of it. So they're bringing in pollen. It's an outside frame, which it should be that way. should be uh, pollen and nectar. You want, you want to just break them easy. You don't want to make them frames pop. That, the bees don't like that. This is our full sheet of foundation. Just let us know what we see here. This cat brood right here. This is all full of pollen here. So they've been out working. Now this next week we should be see a big difference in the amount of bees in this. They should start hatching. Bees should new bees should be hatching right now. Hopefully we'll find some here today. This is the frame I expect to find a queen on. Yeah, whole frame, all cat brood. Good pattern. Now here, it's got something on here that I want to show you newbies. If I can get it up here and see what I'm showing you. These are drone cells. They're raised, they look like little bullets. These are worker cells, these are all flat. But this is what a drone cell looks like right here, this area. And they always put a few drones on there. This was a starter strip we put in there. It's totally drawed out, they've drawn it all the way out. Filled it up with brood and larvae. Not a bad pattern for a young queen. Same way on the back side. Here we got just a few scattered drone cells again. Actually, I didn't see her on that frame.
Here's our queen. You see her right here? She's laying. This net, this box is going to explode in the next two weeks. We're going. They pretty well got it all drawn out. We're going to take another frame of starter strip that we got over here. We're going to increase their nest size now. We're going to put this right down. Don't want to put a full sheet of foundation or drawed comb in between the brood chambers. Just let them do, do starter strips. That way they build it in, fill it in as they, as they see fit. You don't divide the brood chambers that way. Move our star foam back over so they don't draw crazy comb. I think I'll go get him another piece of, of uh, fallen patty to put on there just to kind of help him out a little bit. Yeah, I'd like okay, we're back. I just put a little piece of pollen strip. I don't like to put a bunch on here because if they don't eat it in a couple days, uh, it draws uh, small hive beetles. You don't want that. They're looking great. The main thing is just keep feed on them. A new colony like this, uh, right now they've got a little bit of flow on, but if there's no flow on, the queen will back off and stop laying. So you want to feed them and make them think there's a flow on all the time. That way they just keep laying and they're going to build this nest up. I know it's been slow the first four weeks. The new package is always as slow, but that's a critical time. From this week on, you're going to see a big difference in this box. It'll be, you'll be amazed how fast we're going to get these in a double deep box with a lot of bees. So, if you enjoy the video, subscribe. Um, make sure you click the bell beside the subscription button to, so you get notified when we uh, make new videos. Skinny Bee Man here. Have a great bee week.